Hey, a pleasant good day everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork and this is going to be a quick video on Batali Krotsov from the New York Rangers still being very much wanted over here, of course, by NHL teams because who wouldn't want a winger that has the potential to be a scoring dynamo, uses, plays with a little bit of grit. He doesn't play with the physicality you would necessarily want someone of his size to play up to, but he does play with grit and he plays with some tenacity and he uses that size well, especially to get to scoring areas and in the offensive zone. So those are keys that you want to see when it comes to picking up a player and obviously wanting a player. Plus, when you watched him down below, he played for the Hartford Warp Pack a little bit after coming over for Tractor, um, after playing for Tractor, which now Vitaly Kratzoff, according to Russ Cohen, is back in um, Russia, and he was actually at the Tractor Dynamo game the other day. So he's back, basically waiting for a trade. That's why when Capo Caco got injured, the Rangers called up Morgan Barron and basically did not even bother with Vitaly Kratzov at that point because they knew he just wouldn't want to come back. Apparently, from something I read um, from the um, Forever Blue shirts as well, that Chris Drury could have had something to do with the falling out when it came to Vitaly Krotsov as well. So obviously that would play into it. But when it comes to the player, you could tell when he played for the Wolfpack back in 1920, he has good size, he has a good scoring touch, and he has a good nose for the net. And who's not going to want a guy that's a winger that's not even in his prime yet, not even at his full-grown size of what he's going to be? Right now he is considered... 6'2", or 6'3", excuse me, about 190, so he's still going to grow into his body. Like I said in past videos, I consider your prime years more like 24, 25. He's only 21 freaking years old, and he's a winger that can play up and down the lineup. He's versatile. Um, obviously, he wanted to throw his weight around more, but he's still young, and he still was learning the North American game before, of course, he had a falling out with the Rangers after playing in Russia. So he's a guy, though, that does use his speed well on the rushes, but also... Um, is a guy that uses his speed in order to take away passing lanes on defense and has good awareness and hands to take away those passing lanes and also to just be able to absorb not as squeaky clean passes in the offensive zone, which is what you like to see as well. So this is a dude that is 6'3", 190, and is going to get bigger, has speed at that frame, has a good nose for the net, and also has a good scoring touch that we've seen at times when he was over in Russia, particularly... Of course, um, in the games of Vitaly Krasov, we've seen in the playoffs when he's over in Russia, as if we go to the tractor Shelbalisk in four games, he had two points in the playoffs, with having 21 and 50, and then he had four points in five games in last season, 2020-21, after having 24 and 49. So he's still developing into the pure points producer. He can be playing in a man's league over there in the KHL too, which is what we know the NHL was. So I'm not sure if when it came to the Rangers end of things, this was more he just had a falling out because at that point, Chris Drury did something, as I said in the Forever Blue Shirts that was in that report. And that also, he just thought maybe he was going to make the team. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Maybe he felt he was almost guaranteed a spot to make the club. And then all of a sudden, it's, we want you to go in the AHL. We want you to kind of work back up from the Wolf Pack. And we want you to be somebody that does that. Where maybe he thought he was guaranteed a spot coming in on the roster. And that's why he got angry and got upset as such. And that would make some sense. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but when it comes to just the skill level of this man, anybody's going to want a big winger with a nose for the net that uses speed, cuts down the passing lanes well. Now, obviously, I'm talking him up here. There are some things he has to get better at. Like I said, he has to use his body better for physicality, but he can do that as he grows and gets towards his prime. And he has to be a little bit more aggressive on back checks on defense, but he's good at when it comes to the other things like the passing lanes, cutting the passes, being very aware on the ice of where you're supposed to be. So those are things you can fix over time. Those are kind of like the little kind of finishing pieces and finishing pieces of the touches to make a player the best they can be. And another organization is going to get a chance to do that because the great Russ Cohen, uh, Sportsology, I would definitely recommend following him, um, said the Rangers, he considers them in the driver's seat on this one, which would make sense because they have control over the player, obviously. So they can kind of control what they what he ends up doing or if he ends up just staying over and playing in Russia because the Rangers hold on to him and there's no sign of him coming back. But there are reports that at least five teams are interested in him, according to Cohen as well. And um, that's <clears throat> that's something that 
is going to be interesting. The Rangers' current ask is apparently unrealistic. Apparently, in some cases, they're asking for a top six guy. You can't get that out of him yet because he has all the promise I just described, but he hasn't shown it fully yet in North America because, one, you haven't put him in the best situation to develop, it seems, from reading stuff up at this point. But, two, also, he just hasn't grown yet. He's only 21 years old. He's still in the process of learning the North American game. So he's going to have to do that. But when he does, he's a guy that has a nose for the net, has the size, has the speed to cut down the passing lanes. He has the hand to be able to deke around people as well as receive not so squeaky clean passes from his line mates if that were to happen. So he has all the attributes you would want, like I highlighted in this video. And I don't think he has an attitude problem. I think it was he just had a falling out with the Rangers organization, it seems like. And it seemed like Chris Drury had a part to do with it from reading on a very good, I will give them a shout out too. This blog for Rangers is something I tend to pay attention, even though obviously I'm not a Rangers fan, but I tend to pay attention to other teams' news through very good websites, and Forever Blue Shirts does do a very good job at covering their team. So I would, if you're somebody that does check this out and is a Rangers fan and haven't checked them out, I think they do do a very good job at covering your team, keeping you up to date, like basically by that, when it comes to injuries, like when it came to Kaka, they had something out pretty much right away. So I think it's a very, very... um good site to check out. But when it comes to this, there's apparently five teams interested. I think there's teams that could definitely use his services. Like, for example, the LA Kings are a rebuilding team that still have money. If they gave one of their other prospects that they think doesn't, like, he fits in better to what they're trying to do over there because they are trying to bring in guys with more size and speed, like a la Quinton Byfield, so he would fit in. Imagine him and Quinton Byfield on a damn line. So that would fit in pretty well. Pittsburgh obviously would want to get younger and bring in a guy that has a chance to be that next young dynamo, just like Jake Gensel was for them at one time. So that would be a team just throwing teams out there that could be one of those uh, five teams that could be interested. But there's interest in him. He's a player that's still very much wanted because he's only 21 years old, has shown in Russia he steps up in big moments when it comes to the postseason, and is going to keep getting better and better to become that potential scoring dynamo. Some scouting reports have him on and have a nose for the net and is also good defensively. So he's a good 200-foot player. He's a player anybody's going to want. Now it's just in the Rangers' hands on if they're going to keep holding on to him, hoping they can reconcile at some point. Or it, which I don't think is going to happen, or if they're just going to give up at this point, not really give up, but move on at this point, and actually have a reasonable asking price. You're not going to get a top sixer at this point, but you could get another nice prospect from a team like the LA Kings that have it. Or if you want like a pool, and I guess for him, you could get that from Pittsburgh. But you have some things you could do if teams want to go there, but that's probably more likely than getting a guaranteed top six guy for Vitaly Kratsov at this point of his career. But this has been the video on Vitaly Kratsov still being very much wanted and going over just how good of a player he is and why he would be good in a different organization that seems to put him in the right spot. And like the great Craig Eagle said on Don't Panic with your Reef and Chris, just kind of gives them confidence from the get-go, basically, paraphrasing what he said. Like, you have to have it from the ground up in the organization. You can't just be having somebody say something, the others say this. So it seems like he didn't feel he was getting that from the Rangers organization. If he gets that somewhere else, I predict this guy will be a hell of a player. Subscribe down below or up top if you enjoyed the content. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick of Vitaly Kroksaw Video. Down below, you can sub, like I said, or up above. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the NHL season. And good luck to you when it comes to figuring out the Vitaly Kroshoff situation, Rangers fans. Peace out.